so I play the hunter in Jack Reacher. I'm the villain of the film. Um, they made the decision that he was a former uh, uh, army ranger, eventually became uh, special ops, and uh, and likely was uh, you know discharged for some kind of psychological uh, reason. Tom on set and as a producer and as an actor likes to make sure that everybody's taken care of. He wants to make sure that everybody's happy. He wants to make sure that it's a positive environment. It's such a cliche, but but New Orleans really is a major character. I mean, as they come in films, I mean, this is apparently the largest filming sequence that's ever been shot in the French Quarter in the history of Major Motion Pictures. That's what I've been told, and 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 I believe it. We were there for a long time, um, and it was uh, it, it's incredible. This city, I love it. I would live here if I could. I can't wait to come back and work here. I know I will. Um, it's it's the the food is incredible, even though I don't get to eat much of it. Um, but the people are incredible. The the Frenchman Street and Bourbon Street and the World War II Museum and Uptown and Midtown and it, it's it's in the Garden District. I think I made up Midtown. I don't think that exists. <laughs> and but I think that but but I I've really I've really enjoyed my time here and I've enjoyed shooting here and all the cool little nooks and crannies and the age that's on this city is something to behold. I think Jack Reacher is so interesting and fun to watch because he's 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 an everyman. Well, first of all, he's believable. You know, he's not. And it's interesting. Tom goes out of his way to make sure that Ethan Hunt is not Jack Reacher. You know, Ethan Hunt is borderline a Marvel character in a way. I mean, he's borderline superhuman. He does things that normal people just can't do. But Jack Reacher is very much buried in a, a more consistent reality. Um, in the way that maybe the Bourne, Jason Bourne character is, in a way that maybe the characters from Bullet or The French Connection are, uh, that we're really making a crime thriller with a believable human being. And as an audience, you can watch and put yourself in his shoes very easily because of that. He's moral and, and, and he uh, believes, again, in right or wrong and black and white. He lives a very functional and easy life. And there's something very romantic about drifting around the country with just a toothpaste and the clothes on your back and staying in a hotel and just waking up the next morning and buying a new pair of clothes and, and seeing where the world takes you. I mean, that's, uh, I think that's very exciting and I think that draws people in. Did you know that The Bible and Planet of the Apes are the only G-rated movies to show nudity? Want more movie facts? Click on more videos or for the latest trailers, click on the playlist.